this is Eugen and in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to filter your own traffic from your Google Analytics reports. The reason why you want to do this is because you will have spikes of traffic when you edit your website, work on design or write articles on your blog. Google Analytics actually tracks your own traffic and if you don't filter it you'll end up with statistics that are not realistic. Uh, you'll end up with different uh, time on site, periods with different uh, page views and also you will not be able to properly track your conversion rates. That is why you need to filter your own traffic for your website and you can do this in a couple of ways. The first one is by filtering your IP address in case you have a static IP address and you use a desktop computer meaning that you don't go in coffee shops to, to work on your website or you don't work from friends this will work for you so if you have a static IP address and you use only one location to work on your site filtering the IP address will work for you the second option is to filter your own traffic using um, cookies you will create a special page and once you visit that page Google Analytics will automatically add a cookie to your browser and your own traffic will not be tracked by Google Analytics. Now the downside of this is that if you use multiple browsers you will need to repeat this step for each browser you use and if you install a new browser or change it or uninstall it and then install on the, the same browser or if you reinstall your operating system you will need to repeat this step again so um, let's see how you can do the, the, the first setting from your Google Analytics dashboard just press the gear icon and you will land on this page from where you can change the, the settings of your profile now go to the filters section and select new filter from here you can create a new filter for this profile or apply uh, an existing filter uh, a filter that you have for a different profile apply it to this one what you'll do will create a new filter and you'll type in its name Now, we would like to use a predefined filter. You can also use a custom filter if you'd like and if you have advanced knowledge about that. And we are going to exclude the traffic from this IP address that is equal to. And here, all you have to do is just type in your IP address, like in this example, 74.125.0.0. Now, once you have done that, all you have to do is just press the save button and your, your filter will be added to your Google Analytics profile and your own traffic from that IP address will not be tracked anymore. Now, the second option of doing this is by using cookie content and all you have to do is just create a page uh, where you have some text let's say in case that you use this for your employees or colleagues um, you can just give them the URL and once they visit it they will have a cookie applied to their browser and their traffic will not be counted in Google Analytics so let's see what this page contains so this is a normal HTML page which contains the, the Google Analytics tracking code and all you have to do is just make sure that you replace the count number with your own one so include the, the JavaScript, the tracking code of your Google Analytics account add the text for your employees or colleagues and then make sure that you include on the body tag this piece of code which says when the page load add this cookie to this browser and set this custom variable called filter traffic now once you do that all you have to do is just copy this custom variable which you're going to use 
to, to filter the traffic from that and type in his name now for this example we are going to use a custom filter which is going to exclude a user defined filter pattern which is our custom variable now again uh, once you type in these details all you have to do is just press the save button and your uh, filter will be applied to your profile but please be aware of this that once you do this Google Analytics will start filter the traffic from either this IP address of uh, the browsers that have the, the cookie installed and you will not be able to um, see that traffic from now on so in, let's say that in future if you might want to track to see how employees are using your your own website you will not be able to see that traffic if they have applied the the cookie content so now that you know this uh, warnings you can go ahead and apply a filter for your Google Analytics account so you can filter your own traffic and get accurate reports from Google Analytics. I hope that you enjoyed this video tutorial. This is Eugen from the Web Analytics Blueprint. Thank you.